podcast of Breakout again. I've been I've been really thinking more about Breakout. Um, I I think with the exception of this deck and the uh, the Asmo list, I've yet to see anybody play a list that has enough hits for it. <laughs> um, I I think I think you want to have like twenty six minimum, twenty six minimum good hits off Breakout. This deck like kind of exceeds expectations here. You have 29 pretty good hits, and then you also have a couple of, like, you know, cards you can put in your hand here. Um, I mean, like, I, I've also been thinking that when Priest of Titania comes out, it's potentially really good in Elves, but then you're still playing Elves, so, so I don't know. <laughs> but uh, hitting a Priest of Titania off of it does sound, like, kind of incredible. Breakout's using Legacy with Deep Root Wayfinder. Wasteland the opponent following turn. Okay, that actually sounds pretty sick. I don't know. Maybe to some extent I'm, like, over-hating on the deck-building restrictions and could loosen up a little bit, but I've been burned by Coco too, my too many times. Okay, we're on the draw against a mold of five. I'm going to keep this. Likely saving the cat to trigger Amalia. On the draw against Tron, not, certainly not a matchup you want to be on the draw. I think I'm casting the Cauldron Familiar turn one. This way I can cord for a Wild Growth Walker on turn three, but of course I also need to find something to start the loop again. It's Nia Legends, and I named it after myself because I'm narcissistic. I I just these decks always look so nauseating to me. <laughs> but I don't know. Just like I don't know. <laughs> they the flowering is a cool payoff. They the decks always seem like very slow, clunky, inconsistent, easy to race, low power level. No good matchups. But I agree Breakout is playable in this deck. I do love Frodo Baggins. I would I would love for Frodo to be playable. I don't think Frodo's quite there, though. My opponent doesn't have a uh, Tron. They do have an Oblivion Stone here on turn three. Could be bait. Um, oh, shoot. Well, we can go off next turn, but I... Could have... I, I fetched. I, usually, you want to get over Tomb Sacred Founder because it just casts all your stuff. But I don't have enough green to actually court here, so that was a little bit of a, a goof. That being said, next turn we can just we can go end of turn, get a Surveil Land, cast Cenote Scout with court with the Cenote Scout uh, trigger on the stack. We can uh, court for Wild Growth Walker and win the game. Yeah, I couldn't do it last turn because I didn't have enough green. Opponent's dead. I guess they're dead as soon as Amalia gets out of December range. Okay. Dead. Have you ever cooked with Flibble Flip? Yeah, when I first was working on the Yogmoth deck, like Bass back post MH1, I really liked Neoform in the format because it would exile your Hogak opponent's bridge from belows. And so I played I played a very light blue splash in Yogg for Neoform, Flibble Flip and phantasmal image and you could just go like turn two sack young wolf get flip draw two and you know had four points of power in play which was always kind of nice and then phantasmal image and yog was really cool you had you also played carrying feeder because it was also good against hogak and you could go if you had kitchen finks phantasmal image a dying creature carrying feeder that was an infinite combo that you would be able to set up with cord sometimes okay so on the draw against tron let's bring in the magus of the moon of course Cut the Aryuk champion, cut the Kellen, bring in the... Well, do I want Haywire Might? I think you just want Skyclave as an answer to, like, Bridge and Karn, since Haywire Might can't deal with the Karn most of the time. Or ever. 
or if you attack the card, you can haywire bite the stuff card and gets. But I think just keep the skyclave because it deals with both. But we're, we're mostly just trying to to mulligan to a hand that can either get Magus of the Moon out on turn three or combo turn three. I think we're kind of just not keeping anything else, and this is not one of those hands. And this is one of those hands, so let's keep. Um, this is certainly a Amalia combo hand at the moment and not a Sam combo hand. So I think we just put back the land. Obviously not locked to win on turn three. We have lots of draws to get there. But uh, if my opponent you know, just has turn three Tron on the play, there's a good chance we're going to have to just win game three anyways. I think that Bard class takes a turn away from getting a threat out early. It doesn't do enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Bard class isn't a good card. But that's, that's the problem with the the, the the Legends deck, is that your card quality is really low, and you can't draw multiples of any of your cards. <laughs> it's, it's got some problems. Um, I think I'm just going to be in on the Amalia here. It's Seems close. You kind of like to have the a little bit more of a board presence when you mag us in this matchup too. Must with the sixty months. Thank you. Welcome back. One play storm ragavan. Play turn two breakout. Frodo force a chump. Yeah, no, I I really like Frodo. I I, I would love for Frodo to be just a, like a little bit better. I've certainly like I, I like it's super fun card to play with unlimited and I I've definitely thought about <laughs> thought about that card in modern a lot. Thank you must for the 16 months. You can see uh, uh, your your comment is showing up for me. You successfully swore in a, a Twitch chat. Finds an Amalia or a Karn. Some of the two mana Frodo, the good one, the the, the green white one that like the ring tims you when it enters the battlefield. So they find an ensnaring bridge here. Interesting. Just a breakout so we can try to kill Karn. Okay, so Sam rules here where I get to kill Karn and the next turn I can go. Cast Wild Growth Walker, make a food token, and then I would I would be able to combo with Amalia after I've attacked with it underneath the ensnaring bridge. Of course, my opponent is untapping again, and they there's a lot of cards I can't beat, but um, that's okay. Play Frodo Winota Legends was kind of sick. Yeah, Frodo is is pretty sick. I, I don't know. I I like that card. I I think it's just again not not quite there. So there's a Worm Coil Engine. That can block my Amalia. Then two expedition maps. So I, now I can't even attack underneath the bridge. So we're going to need to be all in on assembling Sam combo, I guess. So I, th I think we'll just go Wild Growth Walker, end of turn, try to sack this food token to dump our deck in the graveyard, and then hopefully we can find Return to the Ranks to win. Which doesn't do anything. <laughs> in response, I sacrifice my food token. I've got some triggers that might go on the stack. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can or explore um... Viserys here and Sam into the graveyard, or is it Viserys here and Cauldron Familiar into the yard before we find Return to the Ranks? So unfortunately, we've hit one of our two returns a little too early. I think we're just still going. There's a Court of Calling, also going into the yard. There's a Viserys here, so now we just need a Cauldron Familiar. At this point, we would have to keep our second return to the ranks, of course. There's the Sam, or the, we already had a Sam, never mind. There's the Cauldron Familiar. There's another Cauldron Familiar, so we get like... We get a lot more looks at our second uh, return to the ranks. It, it, the number depends on how many... Um, 
how many lands we find along the way. These lands are like free looks. Not finding it so far. There it is. Nice. So looking like a win if they don't have anything else relevant. So they always dust away my Amalia. We draw return to the ranks. And then we would only need to really X2 here. Um, I'm going to go target Sam. Viserys here. Spellskite though, just in case. And then the creatures entering the battlefield will give me food tokens to start the loop with. All they had was turn three Karn, turn four, or I guess I guess it was turn four Worm Coil, and then turn five All is Dust. Easy to beat. You can attach Cryptic Code to Frodo when it triggers. I can reread Frodo. Okay, so we're on the draw for uh, match two. We have a pretty interesting hand on the draw where we have we have our combo. We only have one land, but we have two mana dorks. I'm going to give it a keep. Keep every one lander. Opponents on the Moldify plays a Scalding Tide. There has been a lot of Merc Tide today for some reason. Yeah, I like the new Jitte a lot. It's, it's it, the new Jitte seems to be like the most controversial, polarizing card we've talked about in a long time. I like it. I, I think it'll be stock and hard in scales, and I think it'll see fringe play otherwise. I and um, I think the card is it, you know, most mostly exciting because it's tutorable with Urza Saga. What was the purpose of Farseek? What a deck. We got a lot of fours. You go Farseek and you play Ring or Shoulder on turn three, uh, but we can we can move on. Answered that question a lot already. So if I get a Godless Shrine, I can't cast a Breakout. I cast it off a Goose if I need to. So next turn, can I go... Okay, so okay, these have a bolt for the walker. So we're up against creativity. Was creativity the okay? Not creativity. Was, uh, creativity might have been like the one match we lost last week with this deck. So I'm gonna cast a Molly, I think here. I think I necessarily need to drill that. Oh, wrong colors. It's gonna get answered, but I think that's okay with our hand here. I should cut the land, and I should go break out cord for two. I think it's a good time to get back into a domain. I've been having a lot of fun. Polygon's command, make me discard a card. Two damage to Amalia. Just up against <laughs> Grix's control. I'm curious why I think New Jitte would be good and Old Jitte is bad. Well, Old Jitte is awful with modern because it's not a legal card. I think I, when I say, when I so, call something mid, I, I, I mean quite literally mediocre. I, I'm not young enough to... Be like mid mid is you know I'm mid to me is mediocre not not unplayable garbage. Um, although it is unplayable garbage because it's not legal. But like 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 I I said before, what one of these is tutorable off Urza Saga, which makes it, it like it is a really big deal. Um, tutorable off Urza Saga is really good. The card looks to me to be very a very good inclusion in hardened scales, I would imagine, and I think I think it's probably not going to see a lot of play outside of a possible card and scales deck 
uh, some fringe play. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think Jitte would do much. Okay, you lose opponent. Should have responded to the. The cast. But 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 also like I think of course the abilities on oh they have force wow okay they don't lose after all uh, of course the abilities on the new on the new Jitte are not as powerful as the abilities on the old one but it's also half the casting cost and half the equip for half the effect um, and I actually I actually think I think I think the abilities themselves are likely better but you just get half the counters um, no minus one minus one is tough. But I, I I really like I really like creature can't block I really like plus one counter uh, and I really like, and and also make a mana is like really good. It's like plus one counter I think is better than plus two plus two, although it's it's arguable. And I think that make a mana is better than gain two life. And I think that creature can't block is comparable to minus one minus one, but maybe a little bit worse. It's close. But half the mana cost, half the equip is such a big deal. Yeah, I, I think it's likely going to be like a good dice factory card, but I don't still don't think it'll be a big game changer for the deck. They kind of just can't beat a cauldron familiar. <laughs> It's really hard to play down two counters versus one. Also hard to ignore old Jinte plus one. Yeah, I don't know. It again, it is a different card for Sherzies, but but also it's hard to ignore half casting cost, <laughs> half mana equip. Uh the fact that it generates mana, gets creatures through combat, makes oh good graveyard cauldron familiar here, and then we get to bring back cauldron familiar explore again. It is different for sure, and it's and it's it is similar for sure, but uh, it is something I am at least jiving with at the moment. But but again, but the the, the biggest I, I would say old Jitte is better, but the new one being Tutor Ball of Sagas means that it, like it just will see play that it wouldn't see otherwise. Including I think just I think the first copy will be just kind of stock and scales. It's quite screwed that the block mode can only be used every other turn. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I don't think it, that matters so much. Okay, when opponents at two life, I'm gonna attack them with three one ones here. The haste equipment of the saga's bigger deal. To me, that one seems better in hammer than it does in scales, but wow, getting cryptic commanded. That's a hero. I like that they just die if they cast damnation. Okay, what? I guess they can just keep cryptic commanding for a bit. We also get to return Amalia and cast Amalia potentially here. Engraver the Skyclave apparition. Okay, so they have another cryptic command. We do get to return an Amalia, cast an Amalia. One, two, three. This is like such a nostalgic game here. Very similar to like old school Grixis versus Pod. I should also say, I could be wrong about Jitte. I just read the card today. My opinion may change on it. I've been wrong about cards before. I'll be wrong about cards again. <coughs> but I like it. Card looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna put a grist in the that in the deck. You know they got four snapcasters over there, which I won't be fighting too hard, I guess. I think there's a new chance Jitte is playing with Lotus Field. I mean, it would be awesome to untap Lotus Field with new Jitte. Uh I'll I'll keep it in my in my heart in my mind for now.
Could save this for a post wild growth walker, but just getting a one mana two two or one mana one one draw card is probably just where we want to be. New GT and Tron, turn three sixty mana with core tapper. Yeah, I, I'm like I'm like kind of excited about it in Dice Factory, where like like by itself it's it's a it's an ever flowing chalice that you don't have to tap for mana, so you can continue to pour mana onto it as you go, and then. If you have Tron online, it makes three mana for every charge counter, which is kind of kind of nuts. But also, like if you have Tron online, you know, you're also kind of probably winning anyways. So not sure. Doc Arlock. It's a blue green two two that reduces the cost of spells from grave next up by two. It's slept on by decay with it goes with. Yeah, I, I don't know what it goes with either. Like in modern, there's not that many good spells to cast from the graveyard. Um, I don't even think it works with Unearth, does it? All right, we're gonna go Grist into Molly Wagroth Walker next turn, I guess. I I I think there's like some potential there, but it 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 doesn't necessarily seem like I I can think of anything that it really breaks, and I I haven't put a ton of thought into it. The new set is very exciting. I, we're gonna have some long. We're gonna have some long streams because, like, we have to go so hard on the new set before MH three comes out. Because there's there's just there's just too much to do. There's too much to do with this new set. We're not we're not gonna get it to to all of it in time before MH three comes out. There's just no chance. Which is a good place to be. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get to as much of it as I can. Like I feel like I'm just barely like wrapping up with like MKM stuff. Don't take my return to the rinks. Okay. I, I, uh, okay. I guess getting the Amalia down is better. I've got Spells Guide to protect it and the Gilded Goose. I can just like use it as an explore engine. Good old Turok and Cryptic Command in the same deck. Maybe yeah, 3 2 with the Jun deck. That was okay. Did worse with the Golgari deck. Four cards in their hand. Can't Skyclave a Turok, I guess. Let's just make crack of food here. Um, can I spell sky to Tidebinder? Should be able to, right? Well, I guess. Okay, it says it cannot. Okay, I was thinking that that this ability would be targetable but i guess not targets ability not creature yeah for some reason i thought it would target it would target like spell skite's ability on the stack but yeah i guess not give me a skyclave target though also getting in with the turok now let's take four No, so I was going to trace the change the target to it, not to the ability. So yeah, it was uh, never going to work, unfortunately. Sternly scolded. That's about memory vessel. This is cards five mana, right? Uh, not that many playable five mana cards in modern. This doesn't seem like it would make the cut basically ever. Like five mana card you have to untap with. Could be a combo with it. You're not gonna trash for treasure it. You could um you could get okay, so you could play yeah, let's go to game. <laughs> let's go to game three. Uh you could play this card in storm and then play creativity in storm and then have creativity give you access to draw seven and then not be able to hit your mana creatures. <laughs> You could play uh, the other card though. There's there's a there's a there's not there's not creativity. There's one that um, you target an artifact and then you get an artifact and it's blue shape anew. You can play shape anew and gingerbread cabin. What about Belcher? Um, I I don't really feel like Belcher would be very interested in this card. I I wouldn't mind hearing an argument why that wouldn't be the case, but. Don't really foresee why you'd want it. I think we're still doing Overgrown Tomb, Sacred Foundry here. I 
There's an Amalia. Um, we can graveyard it because we have Return to the Ring, so we can keep it. Let's just keep it. We have a spell Skype. They know I'm drawing Amalia. Um, I'm just going to follow up with Spell Skate here, of course. Sorry, I meant to get. Totally meant to get Sacred Foundry. Weird brain fart. Shouldn't be the biggest deal unless I draw Breakout. You have a bunch of black cards in my hand too. Well, unconscious, unconscious mind helping me make better plays. <laughs> probably, probably not. Probably just better to be able to cast a breakout if we top deck it. Let's see what we draw. Basic planes. So nice to be able to return to the ranks of Malia if it gets countered here. Generous Plunderer, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Beginning of your upkeep, you may make a treasure token. When you do, target opponent creates a tapped treasure token. And when it attacks, deals damage to defending player equals the number of artifacts they control. Very cool card. Oh, they have a hearse? Dang it. <laughs> Good top deck. So we don't get to combo right now because of the hearse, right? But we have spell sky in play, and as, so as soon as we make another food token or my opponent taps the hearse, they're cooked. So if they have like damnation this turn, we lose probably. But just any any, any creature um, or this return to the ranks resolving is going to make it to where my, my opponent can't stop my combo with hers. Even gives me an extra food token. So in response to this, they drown the spell skite. Bummer. I guess I'll um, sack my collagen familiar and try, start start the loop. Which my opponent will hearse now, but then they'll only be able to hearse. I guess they'll, they'll get though they, they targeted spell sky collagen familiar. Interesting, but but now I'll be able to return to the ranks the Sam. And the Amalia. Oh, sorry, I should have sort of scryed again. And now, imagine they have a um, spell pierce here. I have force mitigation blue card, maybe. Imagine they have something. A slightly early concession. Yeah, so no discounts is too good. Gotta keep. I'm not gonna grave raid that one. Begin scales. Giving me a life with Grove. Amali is pretty good against the card Grove, I guess. This matchup, I think, is generally really good. We may stumble a little bit here, though. All right, let me just play Ariok Champion. End up playing Enchanters in Challenge. We played the Vampire Pox deck in the Challenge. We went 5-2, and two, and then Nassif top 8 with the same deck, who's playing probably 5 or 6 cards different. The best way to build Pioneer Amalia. I, I'm a big, I'm very partial to Knight Aaron Aveos over Collected Company. I'm very partial to Force and Note Day Scout. Um, 
beyond that, I don't think I have super strong opinions. Okay, so will they blister my Ariok champion? Show a green source we can cord here. Off the uh, explore. Viserys here. Into the graveyard. Well, I'm going to attack with both here. They don't play the newer Ozolith at all anymore. None of the 75 Bob posted. Yeah, I, I would basically never cut the first copy of the new Ozolith. Um, I'm trying to figure out like what my scale 75 would look like. It's been a little while. I like I like with the new card coming out, the new Jit Day. Okay, so this was like the last time I was playing scales. I was testing out Blink Moth over Ink Moth. Usually, usually I play 23 lands if I have the ring, and I play 22 if I don't have the ring. But you could play New Jitte over the second Ozolith pretty easily. But what's happening? They were <laughs> they like force. I didn't actually tap over it. They like actually just cut over it. It was kind of weird. I can only court for one. This this maybe this handles a mulligan. Obviously, my explorers did not go my way. Yeah, I don't like the Aetherflux very much. I don't I don't think it does a lot enough. I, I don't I don't think it does enough that Dina doesn't already do to like really justify itself. At, at least that's been my experience. How to build living in the modern. I think the bant lists are or like like I wouldn't do it with Bloodbraid Marauder. I'd play something similar to what Sodek has been playing. <laughs> no, don't cast a certain no. <laughs> <laughs> my least favorite card excuse me playing the new shoes and the new jitte i don't know probably start off testing both could cut either he why might or needle from the main could also cut shadow spear shadow spear is pretty nice though why are they putting the counters on the ginger is just better on the zavaz right my playing style is why I be brewing standard preparation. Uh, yes and yes. I don't know if I'll be streaming any of my standard brewing, though. I might be. And I might not be. I think we're playing the cat here. So if I cord for Amalia... My opponent will have like a kind of tough time pinging it, right? Since I'll have to pay six life. I think I'll just make them do that now. We'll have this life gain trigger on the stack. Martyr's sake, I've been getting consistent for ones of five thousand leagues. I mean, is it better than the other one though? Because I just feel like they're both okay, but the um. Other one is better. Okay, so they are. And I use two counters and six life. Down to eight. And then down to seven. I haven't tried the other one yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think they're both fine for sure, but I just think that one's better by a little bit. Kind of turn two living in. Yeah, we turned two living in once. It was awesome. But just, I don't know. You just, like, only having four Cascade spells kind of stinks. And, like, the two mana, like, the two mana spells you get to play with Marauder are just not that exciting. But they get the Viserys here. That's kind of cool. Are we dead? I think we might be dead. They're going to hit me for seven, eight, and then have four counters? I guess not. Not quite. Oh, that that'll that'll probably do it. Cause now they can sack the Zabaz with the Viserys here. Wait, really? They have enough for this? They they, they don't. I think they're like I think they're like may, maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like their brain is telling them like you have a sack outlet, so you have Arcbound Ravager. But this is only going to be six, in fact. If they had just put the counters on Sir Ginger, 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I was dead, right? Five would have been 13 plus nine. Shout out to Blink Moth Nexus, by the way. Maybe they have something else. Looks like they have something else. Ballista pings? Oh, the the pings the pings for infect. Uh, sorry, I always forget about the fact that this deals infect damage. Okay, never mind. It was enough. It was also enough the other way. Okay, so down a game. Maybe should have mulliganed. Matchup I think is pretty good, and we get to bring in a lot of sideboard cards. We're gonna bring in three force of vigors, haywire might, pithing needle, probably second skyclave. That is six cards. I'm gonna cut the Viserys here, gonna cut the Ranger Captain, gonna cut the Kalan, gonna cut the Aryak Champion. Could I ever cut a Force of Vigor or Court of Calling because I have Force of Vigor? It's like you have lower recesses, Court is worse. It's probably not right. Maybe cut Fourth Breakout, Fourth Scout. Oh, yeah, Drain and Linvala. Oh, yeah, Spell Sky's good against Modular. Yeah, dang, everything's good in the matchup. Okay, as much as I love Sonoti Scout, let's trim them, I think. I think they're the weak link. Green card count for Force is still pretty good. Zero Lander. No Black Source. Okay, I'm going to keep a back Amalia. Playing Living In with Marauder, Shredless, no other twos. I mean, is Marauder better than Arden Plea at that point? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Well, we bought him the right card. I don't know, you just don't have to play all this stuff, and you can just play Art and Play instead. I'm missing something. Lightning Bolt out of scales? Come on, brother. Give me a break. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, we need a black source pretty bad. The curse of the overall record counter. Just casting some two mana one threes. Counter on the Nexus in the turn. I guess two counters on the Nexus. Dead in a lot of ways here, unfortunately. Don't think I'm supposed to go to five. That lightning bolt, like, just so insane. Yeah, I still have a scout, so if I draw a land, I could go Walker, Court for Scout, gain nine. My opponent is tutored the Ozolith here. We're dead to Ravager. And they have the Ravager. Okay. Overall record curse. Do you think that matchup still rules? Well, I'm definitely going to keep a turn to Kellen. Yeah, Domain Rhinos is like, I, 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 it's fallen off so bad. I, I, I would love to hear if anybody's been playing it, but I feel like that deck is probably still like very good. So is this is this deck good to modern? Uh, we're 11 and 2 overall with it. I think I think it's very good. Uh, not sure what the worst matchups are. I haven't been doing enough losing. Hmm. Be able to slow this game. Well, it's a green. I have I have liked the Titan matchup historically, but we you know, kept it kind of a little bit of a grindier hand. 
Interesting that they played the sanctuary again. Maybe they have an explorer. Do you have an explorer? Sanctuary, three other cards in hand. They need another land and a titan to be able to titan. There's the other land. Copies my overgrown tomb. Draw another Wildgrowth Walker. See if we can draw a creature off Kellen. Draw a Gilded Goose. So we can Amalia combo next turn. But if they have a Titan, then we... Probably die? Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe not getting a next turn. Oh, getting a next turn. Oh, maybe. Actually, actually, if they had Titan, they would still play this first to have the extra land for Valakut. We've dodged one of the three cards. Floats are red. That's a bad sign. Could beat a ring. Should just be dead. I can play it out. I think I think them getting two Valakids here just cooks me. Twelve damage by itself. I'm playing three Kellen card Virgilus card feels so good. Yeah, it's pretty good to break out into. What did you cut though? Did you cut the Spellskite? Spellskite's been feeling kind of mandatory. I don't know. So they only got one Valakid. That's uh. A start. So can I survive? I have to block three toughness here, which would either be Gilded Goose plus Viserys here or the Wild Growth Walker. I block with Walker. I replay Walker. And then I'm a mana short of... Courting for Amalia and sacking my food. If I block with, I, I think either way, I just need to draw. I need to draw Sam, Cat, Viserys here, Sonote Scout. Is there any? Is there anything that can happen that? Oh, but I also have this Horizon Canopy. So if I block with just the Walker and I go to one, I play another. Then I can't actually. So I guess I block like this with the intention to draw Sam or Cap. Can also have drawn like blocked with the Viserys here to draw Goose. I think I think Sam or Cat is an ounce is you know eight ounces enough. <laughs> um punished. I can't go Walker Amalia cord. Can't cord if you block with those two. I can if I draw Sam. But yeah, I guess I guess it doesn't have cat as at all. And I guess, I still get another look at Sam off the Kellen here. Not sure. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't, I don't, there was no way for me to block and have this actually be a good draw. I think. Maybe have been a better block. Why can't you walk her Molly Accord for one drop? Well, because I because I, I had the my last land was. Uh, a rising canopy, so I can't tap it for mana. Okay, so out Arctic Champion, out Kellen. I think we, I think we could cut the spell sky. It's kind of close. I'm gonna cut the Ranger Captain. Skyclave is likely never getting tutored. Let's let's keep in the spell sky. So I guess I guess their one mystery card was second Valakut, right? Because we we didn't just die on the attack. Okay, we got a force of vigor, got a mulligan though. Keep put back Godless Shrine. Isn't Skyclave how you beat Ring Hands? No, you just combo against Ring Hands. Okay. 
Okay, good draw. So we're looking for Sam or Amalia off the breakout. I guess we'd also take a Wild Growth Walker. And then we should be able to go... I guess if we draw Amalia, we may have triple black, triple green issues again. Can't get Stomping Ground off the Marsh Flats, so let's just cast the breakout and see what happens. We do find Amalia. So we can go... Yeah, we're just going to be short of green again. Oh, unless I actually I can just get Amalia and then I can cast the Cenote Scout, fetch Temple Garden off the Marsh Flats, and then I believe I can cord for two, right? Yeah, cord for two for Wild Growth Walker, so, and then it doesn't end the game on the spot, but I'll have a ton of life points and maybe I'll kill like a Dryad this turn. What if we blocked with Goose? Just blocked with Goose and went to three. Um. That, that wasn't a legal, that wasn't a line. <laughs> I, I had to block with three toughness to go to one. You were that is that was not a legal. We were, we were dead if we did that. Okay, so they they just dismembered my Amalia, losing a lot of life in the process. So this is maybe just going to be like play familiar, play scout, cord for Magus. We'll see. Okay, so now we're gonna go for Sam combo. It's it's funny how like fast your decision points uh can change in the stack. Guess I don't really care much about drawing haywire might. So they're going to need another dismember to survive. Have to court for Sam first because we do need a food token. Could get endurance, I suppose. Remember, Sam combo does beat ring protection. Which is pretty flavorful that Sam is able to overcome the One Ring. With the help of his cat and a weird vampire. <laughs> what well, man I can disagree with? Well, I think I said that back when they could have gone to land after their ring. But yeah, he, he, we're good here. We're good. I may have to click through it nine more times. Will not. Game three. Yeah, the vampire continues to kill <laughs> the cat, so Sam can cook it. The greatest story ever told. So on the draw, we're looking for Force of Vigor or Turn 3 Kill. I'm going to try to mulligan as aggressively as I can. Sometimes there's only so much you can do. We have a Force of Vigor. Only have one land. Do you really want a Force of Vigor on the draw of the matchup? I think we just have to click the mulligan button. Keep on six. Pretty borderline. Don't mind seeing turn one Castle Gear and Brig tapped, I guess. Let's go Overgrown Tomb, Gilded Goose. You still like Vampire Pox? Um, I do still like Vampire Pox. Like, one thing is, like, it does seem like the League and the Challenge metagames are, like, 
pretty different at the moment. There's like a lot of like Leyland. There, there seems to be more Leyland Scion in the leagues or in the challenges than there are the leagues. Um, I don't know exactly how that would influence my building a vampire box, but that's uh, certainly something to factor in. Okay, so we find Amalia. I think I want to play Viserys here and then potentially potentially sack the Gilded Goose looking for Court of Calling Wild Growth Walker. Oh, I guess I guess not, because we need, actually need this to, to have Court of Calling be a live top deck. It's a dryad. Explore. Expedition map. I feel like they have Dismember. Looking for Cord, looking for Wild Growth Walker. We'll take a Magus of the Moon, I guess. I mean, we'll definitely take a Magus of the Moon. Take a Breakout. A lot of good top decks. Okay. This was on the list of good top decks. Um, I'm going to get my Temple Garden. I'm going to cast Gilded Goose. And then uh, we'll see We'll see what I, if my opponent responds to this. They're just pausing like so long on every street here. I, w I wonder if it how much merit there might be in deciding to cord for to cord for uh, Magus of the Moon over Wild Growth Walker. Because if, if we get Magus and they have Dismember, my opponent will lose this Urza Saga and then they'll need to have Dismember plus Land plus Titan. Like, I, I, I feel like it makes sense to get Magus because we're going to win this game if they don't have Dismember anyways, right? If we just have Magus and they don't have Dismember, this, we're, we're likely just going to win. They don't, I guess they could get a basic forest, but we also have two Gilded Goose. But I guess don't have a basic forest herself. Yeah, also if they have Dismember, then our, our mana just gets unlocked and we got the Stone Rain, the Saga. I may be, I may be like getting a little too fancy. That's true, yeah, they may Dismember Amalia in response, but they shouldn't. But if I was going to, if I was going to X equals two, I wanted to be able to attack with the Amalia. They're just they're just pausing so much. It's like, yes, they could just be bluffing super well, but I, it, to me, it doesn't feel like that's the case. To me, it feels like they have it. And our top card is Wild Growth Walker, so I guess we can actually keep this on top and then sacrifice the Magus of the Moon. At some point, I guess we wouldn't have the ability to start the combo loop because we only have one food. Okay, they have to dismember. I'm gonna go to keep that wild growth walker on top though. I'm not gonna sack the scream. I, I I guess that ended up working out pretty well. <laughs> not I need a Kabira crossroads so that I can start my Amalia combo here. I love I love a difficult court of calling. Court of Calling is so fun. All right, so with no amulet and no dryad, it's going to be kind of tough for a primeval titan to matter a ton at the moment. See what happens. They do get to, you know, draw a bunch of cards off the ring. Is there a card for team or prowess that can deal with both shielded and the ring? A lightning bolt to their face? Probably not. The best plan... Disdainful stroke. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not playing any counter spells. Okay, I just want to check your comment history and see if you were the one that suggested spell snare for four drops the other day. <laughs> probably, probably wasn't you. It was you, Sloan! <laughs> now I know what problem you tried to solve with spell snare for four drops. <laughs> now we figured it out. We figured it out. So. <laughs> because my, my immediate thought when you asked that question was mm, that theoretical spell snare for four drops would be 
pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. All right, crack the map. Grabs a Valakit. Cast a Dryad. Let the ward resolve before we sack this to the Viserys here. Not looking too good. A lot of time today. I mean, just two, like, kind of close together. Okay, lunchtime. Never bringing up the overall record counter again. <laughs> Tough game there. I felt, I felt good about the court for Magus. Line. Well played by them, I think. I'm going to go eat lunch. Thank you for tuning in today. Back tomorrow. New stuff looks exciting. I'm going to need to take some time. Maybe some extra time to work on the YouTube video. We'll see. I'm also I'm not, I'm not streaming Monday. Monday's my 30th birthday, and it's also the eclipse. So I'm going to be taking the day off and looking at staring at the sun. 